Hello everyone and welcome back to the forest. Okay guys, I need to try and update everyone on what's been going on because the last couple of days have been a real, real struggle when it comes to me recording footage for this game. Now, you guys know the way I work. I try and pre-record footage a couple of days in advance. So on the Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday will be done for the Friday episodes and the Saturdays and Sundays and Fridays, if I get time, I will record for the Monday episodes and anything in between that will be extra content for the channel. Now, when it came to Tuesday and Wednesday, the update was due to release. I think on the Wednesday, I may be wrong with that, but it was the Tuesday or Wednesday, and I was ready to go. I was ready to try and show you guys what update 13 had to offer. Unfortunately, I had a problem with my load file. It would not restore the game that we had. I've tried everything in my power to get it working again, guys, and when it comes to things like that, I'm normally pretty good. I can troubleshoot and then find solutions and then hopefully get the game working again. But in this instance, I could not recover my game file. I don't know what's wrong with it, but I'm told I'm not the only person that that's happened to. Apparently, since update 13 was dropped, a lot of people have had that issue. So I'm not alone. The bad news is we have now lost our previous save and we will have to start again. But it's not so much the worst case scenario because we did say if we died or anything did happen and the game became very buggy, then we would use all the experience we've learned to make the game bigger and better. So that is a positive more than anything. So with that being said, guys, I need comments below. If there's anything I've not done so far or anything you haven't seen in relation to the forest, let me know in the comments section anything from building forts, bases, if you want to see anything particular, let me know and I'll try my best to do that from here on in. Now this episode is going to be a quick update telling you guys what's been going on, like I just have, and try and show you a few of the things in update 13 that the game now has. As you can see, I've got some items in front of me, so I'm going to transition very, very quickly over to the first one, which is the weapon rack. Okay, guys, so you know by now the way I play the game. I don't necessarily do these kind of things where I look at items in the game and then explain each and every single thing that they do. I try and use it in a survival situation, but for this instance, I'm just going to touch on just four items that have been added in update 13. So the first thing is a weapon rack. Now, I do like this because, as you guys know, I do like the aspect or element of realism to it. And if you were trying to get into a routine in a place like this, the forest, where you were doing things like hunting for food or trying to complete certain tasks in terms of cutting down trees to gather wood to build things, then you wouldn't necessarily use all the weapons at one time. And at the moment, the crafting mat does keep them all bunched up together in one specific location. So I guess the developers have gone with realism with the weapon rack. Now, I'm trying not to blind you guys because the sun is just coming up over the mountains. But if I do place this thing down on here, you can see how it does store it on the weapon rack. And I think you can actually place two items. I've got a spear as well. So let's see if we can store this on it. I would imagine you can store... Yeah, you can. Okay. So, okay. That didn't work. Let's try that again. So if you press C, and I don't have the spear out, so let's try that again. Oh, you can. Okay, so you can imagine how you would take whatever tool or weapon you would need to complete the certain task for the day. So if we're going hunting, we would take something like the bow or an axe or a spear for fishing, things like that. And to cut down trees, we would obviously just take the axe because we wouldn't need the bow. And in a real life situation, you would try and be as stealthy as possible to hunt with. And to cut down trees, you would only want to take the axe as to reduce the amount of energy you are using throughout the day. So that does add an element of realism to the game. So I do like the weapon rack. The only problem that I can see with this thing is in update 12, when you made changes to the weapons, things like adding teeth for damage or feathers for increased speed, they didn't necessarily save when you reloaded the game. And it did become a bit of a pain. So I would be a little worried if I did store weapons on this thing and I reloaded my game and it was gone. That is the only thing that's worrying me about the weapons rack. Other than that, I really do like it and I will make a lot of them probably when we make our brand new fort. So, second thing. This is the only new addition to the game that I was a little bit apprehensive about because an explosive holder isn't something you would think they would add to the game. The only thing I'm going to say about the explosive holder is I guess it would look pretty cool with molotovs all across the top and head explosives and just standard explosives on the bottom shelf so you could just pick them up if you ever needed them. Let's say if you're getting attacked or something like that. I guess it would look pretty cool right next to the weapon rack. The only suggestion I have for this thing is that the developers may be adding more explosives to the game. 
and that's why they needed something that could store them on. I don't know, I'm just speculating at this point guys, as I always do. But I mean, I do like these two things so far, and they will be good additions in our brand new base. The next thing is a medicine cabinet. Now, you guys will remember, I did pick up a lot of pills, and I crafted a lot of things like energy mixes and other items along the way of playing the game. Now, if we can store them on this, and store quite a lot of them, it would come in super, super handy, and I think the game did need something like this, especially if you do have interactions with the cannibals, or if you're exploring the map and you tend to fall down you know, cliffs, or you know, things like that. I don't know. If you were to pick up any illnesses in the game, if the developers did add that, then a medicine cabinet would come in extremely handy. The only thing I don't like is it looks a little plain. I mean, it's got a backboard and just one shelf across it. But I can see how this thing would come in handy later on down the line. The next thing is a snack bar. Now, you guys know I have been wanting something like this for a while. The snack bar is such a goofy name, and I don't really agree with them calling it that. They should have just called it something like food shelves, where you can store different items on different shelves if you need to use cans of soda, snack bars for energy, and things like that, like you would normally do if you built a cabin. Now, the only problem with this thing is something very similar to the weapons rack. If I do store things on the shelf, because there's only one shelf working at the moment, which is the top one, if I reloaded the game, I would be terrified to find out if all my food and drink had gone missing because the game didn't load it up. So I guess with new updates in the game, there are trial and error issues, and we will have to find out along the way. But all of these things, I would welcome, because it makes whatever you call home, or whatever you make to call home, a lot more comfortable. And you would, if you spent a long period of time in the forest, make things like this to try and survive. So I do like them. Let me know what you think in the comment section, guys. Do you like the new additions? Do you think they should have gone and added more things to the game with the time limit they put on the new update? I mean, I do know there's about 10 days until the next update is released, and I can't really think what they would bring to the game. I mean, apart from just adding things like custom floors. I know they're in the middle of trying to update for custom ceilings, but I mean, 10 days? That's quite a short amount of time to release another update. Either way, those are the four items that they've added for update 13. Now I just wanna go ahead and talk about an animation they've added. They've been able to update their game so much that the camera does shake if an explosive is set off nearby near our character. So if you're in the cave system, or if you throw an explosive, you get some sort of animation or screen shake. I don't really see why they've done that because it wasn't really needed. I mean, I can imagine that would become a bit of a problem if you are being attacked by the cannibals. Let's say if we're fighting the cannibals now and I threw an explosive towards them and I got screen shake and I'm being attacked from all sides, it would become a bit of a nuisance. So I will have to test and see how that handles in the game. I mean, if it works well, it'll be a good addition, and I would be pleased about it, because, I mean, any update to the game is welcome in my eyes, guys. I've always said, the longer time they take to make this the more finished product, the better the game will be. But I think camera shake? Questionable. Let me know what you think with things like that. The final two things I want to talk about, guys, and I mean, I know I've not covered everything. I will leave it all in the description if you guys want to check the whole of the change log from the developers. The final two things that caught my interest were notes from the developers in two of the caves. Now they've labeled them as Cave 2 and Cave 1. Cave 2, apparently you can now find a map of the forest. Now, if that's true, I'm definitely going to look for that thing because the more of the forest I know where to go and find things and have an idea of where I'm setting up camp, the better idea I will know of areas to stay away from because I can plot where the cannibals are. The second thing is Cave 1 has now improved areas with, in brackets, secret areas. So does that mean they've added Easter eggs to the game? I don't know. These are all questions that we need answers to and I'm definitely going to be doing it, guys. I'm going to end the episode here, but just before I do, I'm going to quickly transition over to that point over there because you guys... You guys know by now, I did see some movement on the top of those rocks. You guys know by now, I would love to be able to go over to the mountain areas. So you guys are going to see a quick transition. And when I'm over there, I'm just going to see if the developers have done something sneaky in the way of letting us go deeper over that side of the map. So I'll be with you back in two seconds, guys. 
Okay guys, as you can tell by the sun, this has taken a hell of a long time. I've tried to cross the water over there because there's a cannibal camp just over in that region. And swimming in this game takes a hell of a long time. Maybe that's something the developers could change. I might tweet them. Either way, I want to see if this part of the map has opened up. I don't know what my obsession is, but I really, really want to go to that mountain area. <gasps> Are we deeper into the forest? Oh, okay. I really thought we were going to get through there. Either way, I can imagine that that mountain area will become available very, very soon. Something I did forget to mention as well, just before I end the episode, is if you guys are now building effigies in this game, you can now kill cannibals and take specific parts from their body. So if you want legs, you can cut the legs straight off the cannibals. I know that sounds really sadistic, but I mean, it's a big improvement on the game because when you used to hit them, or used to hit the killing blow, they just used to explode into a million pieces and finding the parts was quite tricky. So I guess update 13 has brought quite a lot of changes to the game and we will still be finding them out as we progress each and every single episode. Okay guys, so it's now night time and I've made it back to the other side. I think I'm going to leave the episode here. I just wanted to do a quick update on version 13 of the forest and a few changes the developers have added. Now before I leave this episode, I just wanted to say because we do have a few new subscribers. We have now passed 30 subscribers on our channel guys. And I've never been in it for subscribers. I'm not really in it to do anything like that. I'm just enjoying playing games and hopefully we build a community where we can all enjoy the games together. So I wanted to say a huge thank you. Thank you so much if you subscribe to the channel, if you leave likes on the episodes, if you interact with each other and myself in the comment section. It really does mean the world to me, guys. The fact that you guys are enjoying the videos I'm making really does mean the world to me. So thank you so much. I'm going to continue to record now and bring you another episode tonight, which will basically be a fresh start. I'm going to find a location where we can build bigger and better things in the forest. And I'm actually genuinely excited about it, guys. So I'm going to get straight to that. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you are new to keep up to date with everything in the forest. Like this episode if you enjoyed what you've seen. And don't forget to leave comments below, guys, if there's any suggestions you think the developers should have added to version 13. And as always, I will see you guys later.